Hey guys, my name is Love Liz and this time we're here with the Drowning all the way to chapter six. We're almost to the finish line. We're so close. Uh-oh, Azuka thought to himself as his vision started to swim. So what I think we should do is then we go left. They won't see. Todoroki was trying to explain his plan for the training exercise, but his voice was cutting in and out of Azuka's ears. He couldn't comprehend what was being said. Yudoraka nodded in understanding while Wajiro kept the lookout. The four of them were paired, going against Bakugo, Kirishima, Aoyama, and Tokoyami. Izuka was torn between being grateful he wasn't on Bakugo's team and wishing that he was. If he was, he would be able to tell the blonde what was wrong, but he'd also have to admit that he was wrong when he said that he was okay earlier. Either way, there's something he can do about it now. He roughly shook his head, trying to regain some control back. You okay, Deku? Yudoraka asked him, gently touching his shoulder. Azuka forced a smile and nodded at her. Just a little tired is all. I didn't sleep very well last night. Are you going to be okay for this exercise? Todoroki asked, a small frown on his face. Azuku eagerly nodded. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. He said while holding up thumbs up to the half and half team. Todoroki nodded once before signaling their team to start moving out. Their objective was to do something. Capture something? Work on stealth? Azuka realized he had absolutely no idea what they were supposed to be doing, as well as not having a clue what their plan was. He was so screwed. Typical of a screw-up, you can't even pay attention to directions. He let out a sigh at his thoughts. He actually hadn't heard from them, apart from when he was trying to sleep in a while. It was a nice break. Bakugo seemed to have the ability to, to keep him distracted enough to where he didn't notice. Azuka was really wishing at least one of them were on his team right now. They would be able to help. At least help him what's going on. They always seem to know when he zones out and missing something. Okay, we're going to have to run across this opening. Don't slow down or they'll be able to pick us off. Todoroki instructed. Their team nodded. Everyone but Izuku. They had been jogging from one piece of cover to the next, and he was already tired. Now that he had to sprint a huge distance? On my mark, Todoroki whispered. Go! The four of them took off at a sprint, but Izuku was falling behind. His legs didn't want to work. It took about 30 seconds for him to trip on his own feet and fall to the ground, hard, smacking his head on the solid dirt beneath him. Midoriya? He heard but everything was fuzzy and quickly falling out of focus. His eyes were heavy, just like the rest of him. Breath was becoming a chore. It just took so much to get air in and out again, and he was so, so tired. He just wanted to sleep. Deku! Azuku faintly heard the shouts and explosions before the whole world fell into darkness. The exercise was simple. One team was to try to sneak to the other side of the map, while the other team tried to track them down and stop them. Simple, straightforward, and easy. Bakugo almost wasn't even worried about Izuku. His team was able to easily keep track of where the nerd's team was. They were waiting for them to enter the clearing ahead before making a move. It would just be easier in open space. They were lying low, waiting for them to start the journey across. Bakugo already had a plan for him in his mind. He'd take out Izuku first as gently as possible, so the kid could finally take a break. Then he'd worried about getting the rest of the team. Bakugo's team saw their opponents finally start to run across the opening that they'd been waiting for at the right time to spring their attack. When Izuku tripped, the trip itself was out of character, even without the use of his quirk. Izuku was steady on his feet. Watching him trip over literally nothing was concerning. But what really freaked him out was when he didn't get back up. Bakugo had watched him closely as he tripped over and fell, hitting his head hard on the packed dirt. Fuck, he said, taking off towards the fallen team. Midoriya? 
He heard Icy Hot ask as he stopped running to turn back to look at the green hair team, the rest of the team following. Azuka seemed to strain to lift his head rapidly before the weight became too much and he dropped it back to the ground with a thud, his eyes closing. Deku! Bakugo shouted, using his quirk to get to the boy faster. He dropped to his knees once he reached Zuku, lightly shaking the boy and checking his pulse. You fucking dumbass, I told you to sit out! He shouted at no one in particularly, seeing the boy was unconscious in his arms. Suddenly, Ashido, Sero, and Kirishima were at his side, while Kaminari tries to keep the rest of the class back. Hun, we have to get him to recovery, girl. He hit his head pretty hard. The pink-haired girl said to Bakugo with a soft voice, delicately placing a hand on the blonde's arm. Bakugo just mutely nodded in agreement. Do you want me to carry him, or do you want Kiri to? She asked. I got it. He mumbled back, effortlessly scooping Izuku into his arms and climbing to his feet. Ashido watched as he started walking, a frown on her face. You two go with him. Make sure they're both okay. I'm gonna talk to Mr. Aizawa, she said to Sero and Kirishima. The two boys nodded and took off after Bakugo, leaving Ashido handling their teacher. What's going on with Midoriya, Ashido? Aizawa asked with his arms crossed, staring at his student. He wasn't blind or dumb. He could clearly see that something was going on with the problem child. And the self-proclaimed Buck squad seemed to know what. The pink haired girl looked conflicted on if she should spill the greenette's secrets to their teacher, but shook her head. You'll find out when recovery girl checks him over anyway, she said with a sigh, before she explained Izuku's problem with sleep and food, which led to this accident that had taken place. As I would nod it once she finished. I see, he mumbled. Come on, he said after a few moments, walking over to the students. Kaminari, you too, let's go. Huh? The blonde asked. Where are we going? He asked, following along. Class rep, you're in charge. Make sure everyone gets changed in back of the classroom. I'll have another teacher there soon. As I was said, instead of answering the electric quirk user. Ida nodded his head before directing the class to the locker rooms. Wait! Yudoraka called out, breaking away from the pack and going towards their teacher. Are you going to see Deku? Can I come? I'm... I want to make sure he's okay. She said while fidgeting with her fingers. Go back to class, Yudoraka. You can see him later, as I instructed. The brunette frowned, looking at Ashido Kirishima with what seemed like jealousy. Okay, she mumbled as she walked away. Ashido and Kaminari exchanged looks. Aizawa sighed. Teenagers are exhausting. Let's go, you two. Yay, we're done. Uh, okay, I need to take a break. My voice is kind of leaving me. Man, I hate this. I wish I could like, have long, more stamina for reading. Fucking sucks. But, yeah, just how things are going. Well, if you want to see more of this, you know what to do.